guys welcome back to my channel so today we are actually going to be doing something a little bit weird but i feel like it is necessary so what i want to talk about today is face masks or how to do your makeup while wearing a face mask so i got this reusable or washable face mask from target it came in a pack of two for like four bucks and i know a lot of stores are running out of it where i am in kansas since um they I think they did just require masks as of Friday at 12 1 a.m. Um, so masks do have to be worn out in public, and if they don't, I don't, I don't know what happens, but I just wear mine anyways. So today we're going to be learning how to do, I had this idea like a full face of makeup, but while wearing a mask. So technically it's not going to be a full face because if you have your mask on, you don't want your foundation to get all cakey and sweaty, and then like, I mean the, ma the masks are washable, but since it's like high 90s, low 100s here in temperature, I'm not the type to just do a full face and then put my mask over the full face of foundation because I feel like it'll like start moving around. And it, it's hot, it's too hot for all that. So we're just gonna do the upper portion of our face. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. If you guys like it, let me know. Subscribe, like the video, comment if you want to, and let's get started. Alrighty, so first I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Oh, I feel like my brows come out a lot better when I'm not about to go anywhere. Like it's daytime and I could go to the store, but I think I might have another video to film after, so I'm not sure. I, oh my gosh, they just come out so much better when it's like, oh, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Like, these look pretty dang good, actually. For once, this one's longer than this one, but it does look cute. I like, I like how they're rounded and not like square or anything. So let's just go in with our mask. And so what I want to do is kind of like map out where I want um, the lines to go. So where I want the stopping points to be of my uh, foundation. I'm gonna put this on real quick. So it pretty much covers my entire face. I'm gonna take this green pencil, and this is from NYX Off Tropic Pearl Liner in the shade Bamboo, and I'm just gonna do little dots. So right about here. Now I take the mask off, and there are little green lines on my face. And so now, since my skin, I've done my eyebrows, I can just See, there's not gonna be like a ton of fallout to worry about on my lower face, so I'll just do my foundation first and then go in with my eyeshadow. And so since it's more of like a, um, like we're covering our face, it's not gonna be like a full glam, so I wanna do kind of like an everyday wear, which is like really rare on this channel now, because whenever I do makeup, it's full glam or nothing. So first, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is moisturize my face, because it feels a little bit flaky. I'm just gonna do this mainly on my forehead, in between my eyebrows, and like right here. And you can moisturize the rest of your face if you want to, so I'll go ahead and do that too, because I put too much moisturizer on my forehead. And now that we have that on, we're gonna take our hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. This is like six or seven bucks at Ulta. And I'm just gonna drop that up here just a little bit, and then, Wherever I mark the green line, I want to rub that in. So it's currently out of stock on Ulta's website, um, but what it does is it's supposed to replenish lost moisture, maintain healthy looking skin, and provide enhanced barrier support. Now it doesn't contain any alcohol, gluten, nuts, oil, silicone, parabens, or sulfates, which is good. And uh, this makeup artist on TikTok recommended it. So we got that rubbed in. And since I kind of want to make like a tinted moisturizer, I'm just going to take my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And then I think I want to do my Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Nutmeg and just put that on top of that little pump of moisturizer that I did. So I'm going to make a tinted moisturizer on the back of my hand. Mix it together. I did just one pump initially and I'm going to do some more pumps. Looks like it's pretty sheer. You do some more pumps just to make sure it's the right consistency. Get some more tinted moisturizer. Yeah, it feels really watered down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the. Mm -hmm. Just kidding, don't add the foundation just yet. Um, I don't know what it is, but I forget to prime Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just gonna put it on my middle finger since that one is free. And there's like conditioner mixing with my face. Take a little bit, like the very smallest bit of the uh, Cover FX Mattifying Primer in Acne Treatment. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, put that on the forehead. Don't really need it because I use it mainly at like right here, my T-zone. I'm just gonna put it in between my eyebrows. Okay, now we can go on with the mixture. Um, now we're gonna go in with the mixture and just dot a little bit of that on your face above the green lines. So 
literally all over my hands. Oh my gosh. And then let's take the sponge and just pat it in. Look right under the eyeballs. Let me just go wipe the rest of this. I made too much. I'm gonna go wipe it off the back of my hand. I'll be right back. Now that I've gotten all that off my hands. I'm gonna take my concealer, put it on my eyelids. Normally I would use some kind of um, Anastasia primer for trying to do some kind of like light wearable makeup because it's hot. It's too hot for full coverage. It is too hot for that. So let's do this. We're just gonna blend this out and it's gonna look crazy at first, but that's okay. Then we switch to the other side that had the moisturizer on it. And the same thing to the other side. And then, because I don't like the way this side turned out, it looks a little too light. I'm gonna take some of the Born to Glow foundation just a little, little bit. Like, not even a lot, just like that much. And just brush that right on top of it. Same thing on the other side. So now that that has been taken care of, let's do some simple eyeshadow. And when I think of simple, I don't think of like crazy flashy colors, but you can still do colors. I'm thinking like maybe two or three colors max, because normally I do like anywhere between five and nine, but we're gonna do just like two or three colors today. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this eyeshadow, but I will put it right here. And it means sun in Arabic, I guess. And this is the Yamrezi yeah, palette, and I don't use this very often, and I should use it more often because it's really, really good. I'm gonna pack that on with this brush. And at the same time, kind of blend it out. I'm gonna take some trans uh, some powder and just blend out the edges a little bit more so that way it's like not a harsh line. Same palette going to the shade Cupcake. And just pack that on the lid. It's really pretty. And a good reason that you should wear a mask in public is to just protect other people just out of courtesy so you know how little kids cough sometimes and i guess some adults do it too because they don't ever go out of it where they're like <coughs> but they don't ever you know cover their mouth that's nasty so like little water droplets or their saliva or whatever kind of cooties that they have if they did carry the virus could come out and affect you or if your kid or you were to do that and cough like that, then it would affect other people. So you can potentially spread the virus by just coughing and not covering your mouth. Um, but since people do like to cough and not cover their mouth or sneeze and not cover their mouth, because I've seen it, then a mask is a good way to protect from that. So even if they do it, then it's less likely to, less likely for you to breathe it in. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't like breathing in little nasty, <coughs> like cooties from that. That's not something I would want to breathe in at all from a child or an adult. It's disgusting. Okay, so this is the Ellie Girl Shockwave Neon. This is lip liner, but I'm gonna use it in my eyeballs because I'm feeling dangerous today. Another reason that you should use a mask is because you may not realize, oops, that is not working. You may not realize that you have the Rona, so you could be giving it to somebody else if you don't have a mask, out and about, coughing, breathing on people, sneezing. You know, things like that. And as far as like the people that are protesting wearing masks, where they're saying, oh, it's their body, their choice. I don't want to get like too political, but from what I've seen, it kind of looks like the same people that are protesting like abortions and stuff. I feel like if, it's, if it doesn't directly affect you or hurt you in any way, you should not be making any kind of comment on it. So that's just my opinion on it. And I want to take the uh, that same sun translation word and put that in my lower lash line, blend it out. 
Yeah, I kind of like the idea of it like not going all the way around. It's just supposed to be an everyday wear. Look, what am I doing? And then as far as like there are uh, people just going out, they reopened the nightclubs where I am and a lot of people have gotten sick from that, which I mean, I don't think it was a good idea to go out and take advantage of that. I'm gonna take the shade barb on my finger and put that in my inner corner. But I mean, people have gotten so sick from it and Kind of wish that they could take it back so i mean i don't recommend going to places without masks especially since where i am they didn't really have a lot of cases but it's kind of gone up due to everything just reopening and not i don't know people just not being safe at all okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and wipe those green marks off i mean kind of is your choice to wear the mask but it's in my opinion, not responsible if you don't wear it. Because at first I was like, okay, well, it's just like the flu or whatever. But then I've like read a lot about it. So I've done my research a little bit on it, seeing what's happening, um, seeing what happened on Twitter uh, versus like friends that have gotten it. And just, it's really scary. Still no cure for it. And people have lost their lives over this. So I don't know if you're like willing to just risk anybody else's life. It kind of sucks if you don't do it. It's kind of really irresponsible. And then there's also people that People that travel with their infants in this, like they go out of town with their infants. Like if you know there's a pandemic going on, traveling's not recommended, especially during this time. Why are you bringing your like six month old child? Like I don't have kids, but why are you bringing their child? Like, I don't, I don't get it. it just does not make sense to me, but okay. Okay, so just a quick side note, when you're out in public, masks are also really good. Just in case you don't want to run into somebody that you used to work with. Like that dude in the gray shirt right there, I used to work with him. So yeah, you could just avoid um, awkward situations like that if you have your face mask on. So there's that. Um, so now I don't think I'm gonna do falsies with this video because I mean, it's not supposed to be full glam. So I'm just gonna take some of my Bad Girl Bang mascara and I kind of hate it, kind of, I don't like the way it make my, makes my lashes like clump. So yeah, just wear a mask. And so if you put your makeup on, or your mask on now, Looks like you have a full face, but oh my god, there's makeup all over my mask. I'm going to bedazzle my mask anyways. Um, yes, so that way you look pretty put together while not being like overly dramatic. If you want to add lashes, you can add lashes. Ugh, but I'm at home, so I don't need it right now. Okay, so this would be it for our finished look, and I just completely abandon the bottom portion of my face. Yeah, and that was just to avoid like sweating in the mask, uh, makeup coming off, things like that. But I mean, if you're more comfortable in full coverage and you found a way to uh, do the makeup without having to cut off the lower part and where it doesn't sweat the mask, or if you live in a place that doesn't have like a whole bunch of heat, like, cause it's, it's hot right now. Um, it's currently 89 degrees outside, which isn't too bad. But um, if you do prefer to do a full face and, and just do it, but don't make laws or no rules to makeup, so whatever y'all want. Alrighty, well, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if possible, please wear a mask just to stop the spread of the Rona. So be careful, be safe, wear your mask, be good noodles. See you in the next video. Bye.